Hi guys, I'm just making this video here for a guy who wants his wants some help with a clipper. Joseph Rosser. I think I said your name right. Okay, this is a DC version here. I don't know if you're using a classic or not, but if you're not, you probably won't have any of this on your clipper. If it's just a brake controller, you'll just have your signal that comes out from your controller and it'll go straight to your SSR. You won't need a diode. And that'll be it. Go to your DC, to your bridge right here, to your resistor. Match your resistor to your wind turbine. If you have a 48 volt wind turbine, you should have a 48 volt load, or at least a 24 volt load with the right size wattage. But if you are using the, the clipper, I'll have links for all this stuff that you need. This is a normally open, normally closed relay. So in the Classic is working normally. You'll have to turn the aux one on so it's on all the time. When it does that, it has power going to your coil here, which has these contacts not connected. So it, it's actually turning the relay on and it's connecting this one and these here, these are actually just one. So it'll be doing nothing until your classic shuts off for some reason, like a breaker trips or something like that, all of a sudden there's no more power coming from your classic, which will leave your wind turbine freewheel and kill your classic or any charge controller that you're using that doesn't like high voltage. So what that happened, when that happens, there's no more power going to the coil here, which in turn closes it or shuts the, the, like, it actually opens the relay, but it closes this switch right here, which in turn activates the SSR from the battery bank, from your, your battery bank. And if you're using a 48 volt battery bank, you have to have a 12 volt voltage regulator, which will send 12 volts to here. It's just a good common voltage for a voltage regulator and they're easy to find. This one that I'm linking you is a 55 volt to a 12 volt regulator. And it's all built already, it's all heat sink that has your two wires in and two wires out. Should be pretty basic to hook up. The diodes are here just to protect the so there's no backflow and your your classic has to be I don't know if you know how a classic is set up but inside your classic there's three pins for each aux out so let's say that's aux one here and aux two is this one they come factory from the factory with the jumper. There's a jumper that's included with them on these two relays, on these two pins, I mean. You need to switch it to these two. What you'll do is pull it off and put it on those two. That puts it so you have a pulse with modulation signal coming out of your classic, out of both of these. You don't want to be using a dry contact What else here? This is a 480 volt SSR that'll have link for you, which takes fucking forever to come in. This is a 200 amp bridge, 1600 volt. I like to use high volt, high, high amp, high voltage ones, just so there's minimal losses. But in this DC version, you're gonna have two bridge rectifiers. Your other bridge will be right here.
going to the charge controller, your positive and negative. And this comes from your wind turbine here, here. So you're hooking up, you can hook up directly to this right here for your three phase SSR. You can hook that right to those on your bridge. And then out here, you'll have another bridge if you want DC out for your load. But if you don't, if, if you want an AC clipper only, this will be gone. You won't have that anymore. And you'll need three resistors. I have three 24 volt resistors that are rated at a thousand watts each. Here's your resistors. Just connect them like that on one end. And then you got your connections just like this. Now you got an AC clipper. You won't need that. Everything else stays the same. Anything else here? This here too, the one I'm linking you is different from the one I'm using. I'm using a 5 volt version, but I've linked you a 12 volt relay that'll work better than the one I use. It's less complicated. You just need this one voltage regulator to make it work. You don't need any resistors anywhere else. There will be five pins on your relay. You're gonna have to find out what an ohm meter where your coil is, for one, your two two leads for the coil, and then you'll have to find out which ones are open. There'll be a, a common, which is this one on this one, on your two secondary here hookups. So like. When it shuts off, you want to have this connect. When it's on, you'll, you'll be connected to the one that you're not using. So you'll have to figure that out with an old meter. It's easy to do, just leave it off and find out which one is being used. It'll be probably pretty easy to figure out for you with an old meter. So when it's off, you'll be wanting to use the ones that are connected. Because when you power it up, it won't be connected. You only want this relay to work when the power gets turned off here for some reason. And you want this at the 12 volt setting to match this right here. This SSR I'm linking to, you to is a 32 volt SSR. And I'll link you some diodes, any diode will work, as long as it's high enough voltage, 32 volts or something. Anything like 100 volts would be fine. The ones I linked you I think are for 1000 volts. There's hardly any current, like 200 milliamps I think is what's going through this at the most. And that should be it. Hopefully that helps you out. So yeah, just if you don't want DC, get rid of this bridge and just make your load like this. And again, you'll have to match it to your wind turbine. If you have a 2000 watt wind turbine, this will probably work with three 1000 watt resistors. That's what I have done. They're 24 volts each, but with a 48 volt wind turbine, it should work out fine because the voltages are lower on the AC side. Hopefully that helps anyway. I don't think there's anything else. I'll have links for this, this, the diodes, this, 
and I'll put the bridges in there too, I guess. If I have time, I'll do it all. Hopefully that helps.